Good morning, team. I have some bad news. I mean, maybe you can already tell when you listen to my voice. Sounds a bit weird. It's because I'm sick. It's the third day right now that I'm sick. I don't know, like it's really, really annoying. But I also want to show you a day in life when I'm sick and I want to show you that sometimes that's how life is. That's what happens. I was so excited to go for a super long run today because I'm preparing myself for a marathon and now I'm like sick at home. I cannot move my body and I have to rest and that is annoying. But anyways, I wanted to film, I wanted to show you a day in life. I wanted to show you that also to me like it just happens sometimes and that's okay, that's normal and allowing your body to rest when it's needed is needed <laughs> I'm starting into my day like no matter if I'm sick or not I'm always starting with a big glass of water um, today it's warm it's a warm glass it feels really good for my sore throat but in general I think warm water is really healthy you can add some squeezed lemon juice or a slice of lemon. I don't have lemon here right now. It's still healthy. It's just important to hydrate your body after a long and good night of sleep. <laughs> I could skip my skincare today and just chill in bed and scroll through social media, but that's definitely not what I'm gonna do. I'm still taking care of myself, I still do more skincare, I still get ready for the day, because that definitely makes me feel better and I'm not complaining how bad it is and how sad I am that I'm sick right now. No, 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 I'm definitely not complaining. I'm doing my best that I can, I'm resting. I'm fueling my body, I'm doing all the self-care thingies and then I'm sure tomorrow I will feel better. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, my face today doesn't feel super good. It feels very swollen, so I'm gonna use some serum and then I do a gua sha massage for a few minutes. That's not something that I do every single day, definitely not. But sometimes when I feel like it's needed, I always want to do it. It feels so good. I know some people put the guasha stone in the fridge, then it's cold. I never have it in the fridge. I just do it with normal temperature or room temperature. I also don't know if it really has a crazy effect on your face. I really don't know. Would be a fun, nice experiment to do it for like 30 days or 90 days and then compare your face if it has any kind of effects or if it changes. But to me, the most important thing is that it makes me feel better right now. It makes me feel way better and that's why I do it. Mm. Something I have learned and I have to show it to you, if you have a gouache stone like this and you put it underneath your eyebrow and then you just press on it, like be really gentle and be really careful because that's a sensitive area of your face. I do some little circles, it is de-stressing. It is a very, very good point that you can press on if you feel really stressed, anxious or overwhelmed. It immediately does something to your to your nervous system, to your mind. Wow, no, it really works. I love it. The last thing now is some hydration. breakfast time. I'm really hungry right now and I'm happy that I'm hungry because yeah I don't know it wouldn't be good if I would be sick and I wouldn't have no appetite. I know that happens sometimes but I'm quite happy that I still have appetite so I can fill my body 
with some avocado toast and feta eggs. I did that in one of my vlogs. It is so good. It is so damn good. Like the feta, if you grill it a tiny bit, if you bake it a bit, and then you put it in the eggs. Mmm, so yummy. I always eat breakfast, no matter what. If I don't have time, then I try to eat something that's been done in like one minute, but I never skip breakfast. And that's so important to me because if I skip breakfast, then it messes up my hormones. I would not get my period. My body would be like, no food, we are fasting. We are going into fight or flight mode. I think for women especially, breakfast is really important. I prefer savory breakfast. Since I was reading the Glucose Goddess book, I'm really interested in blood sugar. So I'm kind of adapting to her rules. And one of her rules is to have savory breakfast in the morning. Mmm. I also bought another book yesterday. I love recipe books. I love recipe books. I'm obsessed with recipe books. So yesterday I bought this one. Svenja Ostwald, Ostwald Feel Good With Food. Just to get some new inspiration. Mm. I already have to say, one of the things I don't like about this book is one of the first pages here says what kind of foods are okay to eat and what are the foods you should not eat. So that gives me like a really restrictive mindset kind of vibe. I really don't like that. I feel like, like here it says, you shouldn't eat eggs. You shouldn't eat soy. What should you eat then? Just fish, huh? That's confusing. Like that is like absolute no-go, but I just want to check out the recipes. That was really, really good. I'm gonna finish my coffee and of course, part of my morning routine, no matter if it's a work day, if it's a day when I'm sick, if it's a day when I just wanna do nothing or when I'm on holidays or whatever. Like this is something that I do every single day. It's getting out my journal and just journal, just write. Write down the, what's on my mind, write down the things that I wanna do. I don't know what I wanna do today to be completely honest, but I don't know. Let's figure out what we can do on a day when we're sick. I don't know how how many of these journals I've already used, but they are so important to me. Writing to me is so important. And I mean writing by hand. I mean having a piece of paper or something and having a pen and just writing, writing down your thoughts, what's on your mind. I feel like it's so powerful and it is so important and it is so good. Also when I plan, for example, content or when I plan what I wanna do in the next couple of years, I have to write it down. If I don't write it down, it's not gonna happen. So let's write down journal page 75 today. The journal that I'm using, it's the one I created by myself. If you wanna check it out, I put the link down in the description box. Every single day has yeah, like this kind of structure. So it's, you have the to-do lists on one side, the personal to-dos and the work to-dos. And then you have on the other side an activity tracker so you can put in what kind of activity you want to do when it comes to moving your body. For example, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I might go for a walk. I want to try it because walking always makes me feel better and I feel like okay enough to do that. Just going out for a walk. And then you have a daily question of the day. Today it's, in German it's, ich bin einzigartig, weil... I'm very special or I'm very unique because, and then you have to fill it out. Every single day, the question of the day is different because you know I get bored really, really fast. So every single day, the question has to be different. And then you have some blank space to put in whatever you want. But I'm gonna do that right now. And I highly recommend you try that too. Journal. If you don't know what to journal about, get a journal where there's already a question and it helps you a tiny bit. Or just write down what you wanna do. That's it. It can be so easy and it should be just a few minutes every single day, but it's just so cool and I just love it so much. In every single vlog, I'm like, you have to stay hydrated, you have to drink more water. I also have to remind myself to drink a little bit more water and what's better than having a new water bottle? 
this is your bottle also one of my products that i'm absolutely obsessed with i wanted to order a new one so i have a completely new one fresh one and now i'm gonna fill it up and then i drink some water you know what the best thing about this water bottle is that it comes with a straw and you honestly drink so much more water it also looks so beautiful we have it in two colors we have it in this midnight gray and we have it in a beige color i'm obsessed with like i really love it and i'm so happy how it turned out it's also so easy to just sip out um fill in water and stay hydrated throughout the whole day so let's fill it up i also have my phone here and now is the first time that i'm checking my phone also something i highly recommend to you like don't look at your phone the first hour of your day please leave your phone somewhere but this makes all the difference Drink water, journal, eat your breakfast, do whatever you want to do in the morning, but don't look at your phone. Don't look at your phone and end up scrolling, watching nonsense things, especially in the morning. Because the morning hours should set you up for the rest of the day, and if you spend it watching what other people are doing, no. No, no, no. What's on my lunch plate today? Leftovers and some vegetables and avocado feta dip. But I had some sweet potato left, some more Japanese sweet potato, white beans, crunchy chickpeas, cucumber, and some tofu with the avocado feta dip. It's so yummy. Mm -hmm. The crunchy chickpeas are really crunchy. Mm. Can you hear the crunch? What? Mm. So good. I didn't make them myself. I don't know how to make them so crunchy. Uh oh. I'm having an energy bowl, cacao raspberry. It's really yummy, really good. Mm. And the last coffee of the day. Now I wanna do some video editing, a reel that I wanna to post tonight. I just do it on my phone, all the short form content. I just edit here with, with this app Splice. And then I'm on a mission to sort out videos and photos that I don't need anymore here on the phones and on my laptop. My desktop on my laptop looks terrible. It looks so overwhelming. It looks so chaotic. I have thousands of folders and documents and photos. I need to get rid of the things that I don't need anymore. And one of the things I love about summer is this feeling that I have to reset and that I have to cleanse, cleanse out stuff, sort out stuff that I don't need anymore. And I have that kind of feeling for the apartment. So I did a lot of sorting out when it comes to my clothes, when it comes to furniture, kitchen things, I was sorting out the past days. Now it's time to go, go to my phone, to go to my laptop and clean those things out as well. We're starting fresh, we are starting new. Tomorrow we are healthy again, fully healthy. <laughs> I really hope I'm completely healthy again tomorrow. I think I want to do something different. I think I'm done here. Hmm. I think I want to do some stretching. Let's do some stretching.
I'm preparing my skin now for tanning and I'm not tanning today but I'm tanning tomorrow and the night before or the day before it is best to prepare your skin it's best when you shave um, when you exfoliate and then make sure to hydrate your skin honestly tanning is the worst for your skin it makes it so dry so you have to do the hydration before and after and all the time. It really dries out your skin. I have such dry skin since I started to tan. So let's put on a lot of hydration. For dinner tonight, we make glass noodle salad with some fresh vegetables, salad. And I have all these white beans left, which I really, really wanna use for something. I'm gonna grill it a bit. A little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil. I also have some tofu left that I wanna use. Smoked tofu. That seriously, you can eat like this. Mmm, -hmm. that's really good. Please wash your vegetables before you use them, please. I'm forgetting it sometimes, and maybe that's why I'm sick now. <laughs> so please wash it, wash it, wash it a lot, because thousands of people touch it before you eat it. So what are we doing now? We wash our salad. Every single corner, every single centimeter of this salad leaf, I'm gonna wash. And also this bell pepper. The cucumber is already washed. I promise, I washed it before. Oh no, I forgot my rice noodles. Or my glass noodles, sorry. But the glass noodles are so easy to make. You just need hot water and then you... Where is my voice going? Hello? Oh my God, what just happened? I just wanted to tell you that you just need hot water and then you add it to the glass noodles and then they are done in a few minutes. Oh my God. What the heck? <laughs> I hate being sick. I hate it. I really, really, really hate it. I try to be patient and I try to just chill, but right now I'm freaking out. If I can't even talk anymore, then I'm freaking out. <laughs> oh, my throat is so, it's so, ugh, ugh. <sighs> some fresh coriander. Mm. And then I just add some random toppings. So now I put it all in a bowl together. I have some dried tomatoes and now it's just about putting it all together. Let's see what we can find. And we put it all into our glass noodle salad. Mm. We're starting with some salad. Then we're adding the glass noodles. Then we're adding some other vegetables like red bell pepper or cucumber, some coriander, the dried tomatoes. And then I have the tofu here. And then all these beans. <laughs> I don't know where to put all these beans in. I put it extra for now. Now the dressing is super easy to make. We need some soy sauce. Let's start with that. After the soy sauce, we add some soy. Oh, that was sesame oil. I meant sesame oil. Now is the soy sauce. And then you need rice vinegar. This combo 10 out of 10. And then I'm always adding some black sesame seeds. And that was it. Now we mix it a bit. I hope I can mix it, cause this is like a little bit too much. Yum. So good. Now I can also add my soybeans. I think it's soybeans or mungo bonen, mungo beans. And now I should sit on the table because I hate to eat when I'm standing and not really realizing that I'm eating all the time without sitting down and eating. <laughs> Here we are again, having a dinner together. What do you want to watch tonight? I have two options. I think Too Hot to Handle, there are the new episodes, they are out. Because of course, I binge watched all the ones that were possible to watch 
in one take. When I was younger, I mean, there wasn't any time for me to okay. be a kid. It was like I had to be... There is another show of the Backstreet Boys on Netflix, okay. Or we watch Elite. I started watching Elite when I was sick yesterday. I already watched four. Wow. And this is my sweet treat dessert. It is protein pudding with frozen berries, pomegranate, cacao nibs, granola, and some protein cream, coconut. Just something sweet to finish off and to end this day. When it comes to food team, it is one of my habits to eat healthy, but not just healthy, but also balanced. So to me, it's all about following the healthy eating 80-20 rule which means 80% of the time I eat the healthy foods, I always say the whole foods, and 20% is about the soul foods, something that fuels my soul. Going out with friends, eating ice cream, drinking a glass of wine, having an Aperol spritz, just what's good for your soul. I think it's as important as the whole foods. And yeah, if I would have craved some ice cream right now and I would have ice cream at home, then I would definitely also eat some ice cream. It's not about restrictions. It's not about diet. It's about living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Sleep is the best medicine. Sleep is the best thing to recover. Sleep is the best thing to keep your skin glowing. It is the best thing for everything. You can eat the healthiest and you can work out. If you don't sleep, it's all not gonna be worth it. So get your beauty sleep. What I always do to sleep better, I have a sleeping mask. Don't judge me for this, but this is part of my sleep routine. I always wear a sleep mask and I always wear ear, ear plugs. Like um, in Austria we say Ohrenstopper <laughs> and in Germany we would say Ohrenstöpsel, I think. But yeah, then this is how I sleep. I also, next to these gadgets, I also have my own pillow, my neck pillow, which is so good. If you have a tight neck, you might have the wrong pillow. This is so good. It's a neck pillow from Black Roll. So this is all that I need to have my beauty sleep. It's now 10 p.m. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna wake up around 6.30, which is amazing. I hope, like I hope I can fall asleep really quick and I hope I'm not coughing throughout the night. Maybe I don't give you a kiss tonight because I'm sick and I don't want you to be sick. I want you to be healthy and happy. I really don't want you to be sick. Like never, never, never. I always want you to feel your absolute best every single day. And I want you to wake up every morning and be super excited and full of energy and not like me today. Uh. Mm. Anyways, in case you are sick today and you watch this video, then remember you have to allow yourself to rest and your body to rest and you will come back stronger. I hope I'm coming back stronger tomorrow. So have a good night. I give you a hug. Mm. And see you soon.